What's up, everybody? It's George Niang here. We're giving you an exclusive look at the day in the life of me as a jazz man on game day. Stay tuned. Are you doing, are you doing a TV show on him today? Yeah. What is it? Can you say one good thing about me? Last time you were, you were you know, you, you treated me badly. Me and Royce have been here for like four years. George is trying to hang on to what we're trying to do. It was only ever me and Royce. Uh, yo, why are you neglecting me? I'm your son. George got kicked out for Eli today. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt my feelings. What's the, what's the episode called? Meals with Georgie. <laughs> So he used to drive a regular, like colored, whatever, I don't even know, like a regular black Range Rover. You like the Batmobile? Then he banged a couple threes and came in with a matte black one the next day. It's George's favorite song. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's up? You got, the, you got the double denim on for shoot around? You got the denim on for shoot around? I'm gonna buy one of these. Trade my rap, my used 2016 Raptor in for a brand new Lamborghini. Hey, he he keeps all his cars in a in the garage, so don't let him fool you. Let's do this. Let's get this shoot around in. Last time a, a rookie took my table time. Elijah Hughes, he's gonna pay for that popcorn in his car. <laughs> Me A's known for just doing some yapping. You know, my hair is what it is. Hey, this man, make sure you get in the weight room because my hydraulics on the wheel. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Room, room. You know, vibes are always immaculate with my guy JC right here, man. AKA Willie Nelson. I'm gonna kick all their butts. You know, since the last time we recorded, I haven't lost in Breakfast Club. You know, it's just part about being an elite shooter. You know, Royce and Joe brings, Joe competes at a high level, but unmesswittable. Make sure I count my calories a day, you know what I'm saying? I did. Two minutes ago. What? Come on, why are you here, day? I'm excited. <laughs> Jersey or Boston? New York, not even close. What about Jersey? Jersey got this. What about Boston? Yeah. Boston, New York, or Melbourne? Well, how can you even... Jersey is not a city, that's a state. <laughs> so you gotta give me a city. Give me a whole city. Newark. Newark. This dude Newark. is so stupid. Newark or Boston? Come on, man. Boston, obviously. <laughs> Make sure that's on there. That's not being edited out. He didn't even know his own country, states, and cities. That's not bad. Well, it is. It's on camera right here. New Jersey City. You ain't heard of that? It's, it's a little city. little pocket just on there. Yeah, Jersey City. I really don't. I don't. I really don't miss. <laughs> Lucky I didn't go to whatever school you played. It would have been terrible. I wouldn't have had to go. You played the five. All American college? Dumas. Dumas. Six four. Six four. Played the five spot. What do you mean? I was a. I did everything. Hybrid. I was gonna go to. Uh, uh, for real. For real, I was gonna go to Baylor with Epo. I kind of. Do it. Do it. Me and Epe would have been a hell of a combo back in the 80s. So. <laughs> Bro, you just got good. You're like fine wine. You get better as you get older. 
You're having a career year at 38. 38, bro? I thought you was 40. <laughs> Honestly, like, I got my uh, joint 40th this week with the, with the kids if you guys want to come. I feel like I'm 21, though. Except my back. My lower back doesn't feel 21. No, Joe. We need makes. I am breakfast club. I make the breakfast. I stir the pot, I make the pancakes, I drop the eggs. See, this is what I do right here. Hey, tell them where you're getting my face. Tell them where you're going to get my face right here. I got Joe next tattoo right here on my stomach. <laughs> All right, we're heading into shoot around. You got it here. Day in the life of George. Appreciate you guys. I've never seen George have a bad day, you know, whether we're Winning five games in a row, losing five games in a row. You know, he's always the same guy, same energy. Very positive attitude. Um, you love having him as a teammate, love him as a person. And I think the best thing about it is just finding ways to contribute, you know, with himself, getting in the lineup, being a uh, tremendous role player for us, continuing to do his thing, man. It's, it's truly incredible. You know, everybody knows him as the minivan. He has his nickname, and I'm happy for him. We're happy to have him, and um, he's a great teammate. Hey, my guy, B. Bailey. Get it, been getting it out the mud since the Salt Lake City right. Stars. It starts here. Yeah, the Stars days. George came to the Stars and turned our season around. Out the mud, it starts there, man, the G League. I just remember before George came, I think we had four wins. And from the time he came to the end of the season, we were a top three team in the G League. It's actually funny, I, I remember it like it was yesterday, you know, I got signed to a two-way uh, with the Utah Jazz and I was assigned, you know, to the Salt Lake City Stars and our first uh, road trip was to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, which I went to Iowa State, which was, you know, close to home for me, so I was kind of like, this is awesome, but for me, it was just trying to implement, you know, my habits and, and the way I felt about things and putting winning first uh, into everything that I did, whether I was showing up late at night to get extra shots up and bring guys with me or going, taking the guys out or for, for brunch after practice. I just think the biggest thing is I just kept going. I wasn't gonna give up. This was a dream of mine and I sure wasn't gonna let anything that anybody else said stop me from chasing my dream. So if I had any advice for anybody and, you know, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. But, you know, don't ever quit. You know, keep going because, you know, you can, beat out people just by showing up every day and that's kind of the model that I live my life by is that no matter what happens, good, bad or indifferent, I'm going to show up the next day and you're going to have to keep knocking me down because I'm never going to, I'm never going to quit. Niang again, confident shot up and in. He's on. Oh, George. I mean, he is rolling right here. It's his third career start for the Utah Jazz. It's good to see Niang getting a, a start and just playing confident. Guys that, that defend find their way onto the floor and or guys that don't defend um, find their, their way off the floor. And George has just made that a priority. You know, his habits have improved. There's a focus and a resolve and, and I, th I think maybe one of the best things that he's done is, you know, he's, he's rebounded. When you're focused on those things, the, the rest of the game becomes easier. You, it just, you become instinctive and you're not thinking about whether you're making or missing. My, my belief is that you know, you're, you're, you're not thinking and you're, you're playing more free and you're playing aggressive and, and I think that's what you're seeing George do. He's not playing defense because he's making shots. He's making shots because he's playing defense. Woo!